Good morning, Rebels. Today is Thursday, January 25th, 2024, and this is Rebel TV. Good morning, Rebels. My name is Robert Andrade, and I'm a senior here at Savannah. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Hey, what's up, Rebels? Happy Thursday. I don't normally do my check-ins on Thursday, but you know why? Because students, tomorrow you guys got the day off. Us teachers and staff, we will be here working hard, enhancing our learning, uh, teaching and learning for your uh, outcomes. So we're really looking forward to a great day tomorrow. You guys enjoy the day. We'll see you on Monday. But I want to say thank you to every rebel that made yesterday an awesome day. We had two events on campus. We had the Steps of Savannah. We welcomed our eighth graders from Brookhurst and Dale Junior High. Everybody that was a part of that stepped up and made Savannah shine. And I want to thank every Everybody, from cheer to color guard to the dance team to uh, the band folks you name it it was awesome and everybody that was manning their tables the counselors the students that are on the panels they gave tours it was just a tremendous day and then later that evening we had discover Savannah where we again welcome back those families and we got to showcase some great things at Savannah I just want to say thank you to everybody that made the, the two events just so spectacular as we welcome uh, incoming eighth graders as we hope to grow the Savannah family. Well, other than that, I just want to say I hope the week was great and uh, we look forward to a great week next week. A lot of our sports will be competing in the final week of league. So if you can get out there and support our teams in those stands, we've got two basketball teams, boys and girls that are fighting for the league championship. We need you in the stands there. So come on out and hope we, you can be there to cheer us on. Well, take care. Keep it clean like a washing machine. Stay dry today, and you guys have a great long weekend. Hello, Rebels. A reminder that if you drive a car to school and park in the student parking lot, you need to make sure you purchase a parking permit for Ms. Aparacio in the ASB window. Parking permits cost just $1, but there is a little paperwork you will need to complete. We will leave notices on your car if you do not have a parking permit. Displayed. Please make sure you complete the paperwork and purchase your permit by February 9th with Ms. Aparacio in the ASB window. Thanks, Rebels. Hey sophomores and juniors, are you interested in getting more involved at Savannah next year? Do you see yourself as a role model to younger students? Want to work with other students to build your leadership and collaboration skills? If so, apply for Link Crew. Just use the QR code on screen or type in the link for the application. Applications are open today and close on Friday, February 2nd at 3.30 p.m. Hope to see your application soon. Rebels, on Thursday, January 25th, support Savannah's class of 2025 by getting your grub on at Raising Cane's on Euclid Avenue. Mention Savannah's Junior Fundraiser at the register and Cane's will donate 15% of your purchases to the class of 2025. This event will take place at Raising Cane's on Euclid Avenue near the Target. Thanks for your support and hope to see you there. Come support our Gilele Teatro en Español by joining us February 1st at 4 p.m. And on February 2nd at 7 p.m. to watch a performance, Los Cainal Sin Plumas, in the auditorium. Tickets can be purchased in room 66. Thank you for your support. We hope to see you there.
Attention Savannah students, the City of Anaheim Youth and Government Day is right around the corner on Wednesday, January 31st. The primary focus is to provide students with a unique opportunity to explore various career paths within local government by participating in informative tours and job shadowing experiences across multiple city departments. If you're interested in applying, please stop by the Student Center for a flyer. The flyer has a QR code and the link to the application. I may also reach out to Ms. Sadahi from Project Say for assistance with your application. Hey Rebels, are you interested in making goodie bags and vision boards, as well as having a safe space to talk? If so, stop by Room 48 from 3.30 to 5.30 on Wednesday, February 21st to enjoy de-stressing activities such as coloring, crafts, and treats. This opportunity is offered through Ocapica and supported by our Savannah Luna leaders. They are here to support you throughout this semester. If you're interested, please scan this QR code. Hope to see you there. Attention juniors, the application to apply for the 2024 AIN Summer Internship Program is now open. In the program, students will work on many projects tackling authentic workspace tasks with the assistance of adult mentors from the business partners in areas such as IT, healthcare, government, culinary, and more. Each internship averaged from 15 to 20 hours per week. Also, at the completion of the program requirements, students will receive a 599 scholarship. Check your email for the application or visit Ms. Linquest in room 37 for more information. Attention seniors, Fullerton College will be on Savannah's campus on Monday, January 29th and Tuesday, January 30th. They will be following up with students who have already applied to Fullerton College. And if you are interested and have not yet applied to Fullerton, please request an appointment with Ms. Alvarez sometime this week so we can have you ready to talk to Fullerton and on Monday. Any questions, email Ms. Alvarez as soon as possible. Good morning, Rebels. It was a big day in Rebel sports as Savannah's athletic programs dominated the Magnolia Sentinels with both boys and girls basketball and soccer teams winning over our crosstown rivals. First up, we have Karina with the details of last night's girls basketball game. Thanks, Hannah. The Lady Rebels varsity basketball team dominated Magnolia last night by a score of 68 to 22. Sophomore guard Kamela Karigma scored 29 points, while sophomore guard Diana Cruz added 13. With the victory, the team improved its record to 5-2 in league and 18-6 overall. Great job, ladies. The squad will travel to Century High School on Friday. Good luck. Thanks for that, Karina. Now we have Kevin with the deets on last night's boys' basketball game. Thanks, Hannah. In commanding performance, the Savannah Rebel Boys basketball program secured victories against town cross rivals Magnolia High School, with JV triumphing 58-30 and Varsity dominating 76-51 with the win. The Varsity Rebels extend their winning streak to 10 games, claiming the top spot in Orange League. Go Rebels! Thanks, Kevin. Speaking of the fellas, let's see how the boys' soccer team did. Christian? Congrats to the boys soccer teams for their sweep of Magnolia yesterday. The boys played in terrible muddy conditions and came out with three wins. The Frost Soft team won 7-0, the JV squad won 5-2, and the Varsity won 1-0. In a thrilling double overtime match, the game-winning goal was scored by Fernando Ariolo, while goalkeeper Sergio Soto led his defense to another important league shutout. Here's a clip of the winning goal. Great job guys, the team will host Century High School this Friday. Thanks for that update, Christian. Finally, let's hear from Ruben with the stats from the girls' soccer team. Thanks, Hannah. The Lady Rebels soccer program hosted Magnolia yesterday and came away with a sweep. The JV girls took the victory 2-1. to one. Allison Lopez and Anika Alvarez each scored a goal in the win. The varsity girls battled it out with a solid performance and won 1-0. Junior Itza Ochoa had the only goal of the match. Captain Ayeli Ariano completed her fourth shutout in the league and the 12th in the season. The team travels to Century on Friday in an away game in a battle for first place. Kickoff is at 3 p.m. Hope to see you there. Great job, Rebels. Good luck to all the winter sports programs that are finishing up Orange League next week. 
That's all for today, Rebels. Have a three-day weekend Thursday.